Hello, good evening. Welcome to the course Developing Web Applications with Angular Frontend and ASP.NET Core Backend using RADC. In this first lesson, we are going to learn how to install RADC. We are going to create the application database and we are also going to generate the starting application. So how do we install RADZIN? To install RADZIN, you open your browser and you type www.radzin.com. Now, once the page is loaded, click on download now. I'm taking to the Windows download page because I'm using a Windows machine for development. I'll click on download again. So now that the installer for Radzin has finished downloading, the next thing we are going to do is that we'll go to our download folder. We'll right click on the setup for Radzin and then we'll click on open. Now in the user account control box, we'll click yes. But I'm going to click no. I'm clicking no because I already have Razin installed on this machine. So on your machine, go ahead and click yes. Now, once you start, once the uh, Razin installer has finished installing Razin on your machine, the next thing you are going to do is that you will open Razin. After you have opened the application, go ahead and enter your name and enter a valid email address now and you submit it after you have submitted your registration details um, a valid racing license will be sent to the email box that you are provided please proceed to the email box copy out the license and apply it to your racing installation so now now that we have uh, gone through the process of installing Radzin. The next thing we want to ensure is to see that our SQL Server instance is running. So I'm going to search for services. So I click on services here. So the instance I want to use is called bfadina. So it's running. So we are good. So like I said earlier, um, the instance we want to use for development, if I deny it's running, so we are good. So I'm going to close the services page. Now the next thing I'm going to do is to open management studio. Okay, so management studio is opening. So I'm going to connect using SQL Server Authentication. So that I'll click Connect. Now I'm going to minimize this window. After you have connected to Management Studio, please open your browser once again and proceed to the following URL. Angular with Radzin. Dot muik dot com slash angular dot txt press enter on your keyboard so that uh, to connect to the page once the page has loaded please press ctrl a on your keyboard to, to select the entire script right click on it click on copy now go back to Management Studio, right click on your server node and select new query. Now right click on the empty white space and click paste. After that, go ahead and click execute to create your database. So our database has been created now. So I'm going to close uh, Management Studio.
Now the next thing I'm going to do is to open Radzin. So I right click on the link for Radzin. I'll click on Run as Administrator. In User Account Control, I'll click Yes. Now I'll I'll go to the menu bar. I'll click on File. I'll select New Application. Then I will ensure that Angular is selected here. I will ensure I'm using C Sharp as my language. Then I will select empty template. Now the theme I'm going to use is dark green. I'm going to type in a name for my application, bank app angular. I'm going to select a directory for the application. So I click on the on the ellipses there. Then I'm going to my local DXC. I'm selecting a folder called Bank App Angular. I click on Select Folder. Now the next stuff I'm going to do is to click on the Create button. So I click on Create button. After you've done that, you see a message congratulating you that you are now editing a routing application. Go ahead and close the dialog. Now proceed to Settings page. Ensure that the HTTPS checkbox is checked or selected. After that, go ahead and click Save. After you have clicked Save, click on the new data source link. Then click on New again. Where will the application get data from? In our case, we are going to click on MS SQL Server. We are going to give a name for the data source, so con bank app. That's the name of the data source. The server I'm connecting to is dot slash e fadina. Now the database I want to use is Muik Bank DB1. I'm using SQL Server authentication, so I I'm going to type in my logon details, user SSA, and this is the password. Now, after I've done that, next thing I'm going to click on is I'll click on Infer Schema. Okay, so Radzin has finished inferring schema. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select this checkbox for generate pages for CRUD operations. Then after that, I'll click on Finish. After I've done that, I'll click on my Applications link. I'll select the application we have just created which is Bank Hub Angular, I'll click on it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to click on Run. But before I click on Run, look at the various Angular views that have been created for us. We have Account Types view, Accounts, Add Accounts, Add Account Type, Add Transaction, and others. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'll click on Run. So Razin is now busy generating the code for our application. So Radzin has finished generating our application. So Radzin So like I said, Radzin has finished generating our application. So Radzin is using Kestrel as the development server. So now I'm going to stop this application. I'm going to deploy the application to my Internet Information Service server. So I'm going to click Stop here. Now, in order to deploy the application to my local IIS, what I'm going to do is I'll click on Deploy link here. Now, where to deploy your application? Select Microsoft IIS. The server is localhost. I'll leave username blank with password. Now, look at the name that is being proposed. Same Bank App Angular. Let me change the name to just Bank App. Default website slash Bank App. I'll leave every other thing the way they are. So, I'm going to click on Deploy. I click on Deploy.
Now our application is being deployed. So Rasin has finished deploying our application. So it says deploy done in four four one one milliseconds. Now uh, this is the deployed application. So let's go ahead and enter some data. Click on account types, click on hard link, save. So we have come to the end of this lesson. In subsequent lessons, we are going to fine tune this starting application. Thank you.